Hi Excelers, welcome to another Excel video. Today we're going to look at how to lock down images on an Excel worksheet. Now it could be an image, it also could be a chart, it could be a text box or a shape. So really it's an any object. We'll, we look at locking down objects on an Excel worksheet. So this can be really useful when you're building a dashboard, for example. So this can be really useful in particular if you're building an Excel dashboard and you want charts or images or objects to remain static even if you insert, delete, text or some rows or columns in, in the Excel worksheet. So let's look at an example. I have a standard chart here on an Excel worksheet showing my beanie hat sales volumes. So at the moment I can move this around. So at the moment I've just created the chart and I haven't haven't changed any of the properties of, of it. So so if I went to let's say insert four columns that would expand my chart and it's definitely not what we want. Yeah, we're happy with the size of the chart and we may want to add in some extra columns or rows. We don't want it to change. So let's look at locking this down so we can work away quite easily in certain columns, rows, inserting some extra text and this chart will not change its size or position. Okay, so first thing we do, so the first thing we do is highlight the chart, right click and go to format the chart area to bring up our options here and the option that we want is size and properties and if we go into properties there's an option here that that instructs excel don't move or size with cells if we click that, that that will lock down our chart even if we move the cells around it uh, insert or delete some some rows or columns Okay, so let's test it. So let's go again. Let's insert some columns. There we go. Our chart has not changed. Let's go and insert a lot of columns just to really test it. And it is not moving at all. We can still manually move the chart around. But if we but it won't be affected by anything else that's going on in the worksheet. So you can apply this to text boxes, chart, uh, chart uh, headings, so any object that you place in your Excel worksheet. It's a really handy one to know, especially if you're building some Excel dashboards and you, and you do not want those charts to move if you're inserting some extra cells. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe and leave a comment. And if you want three free Excel tips every 15 days, click on the link to sign up to the How to Excel at Excel newsletter. Thanks for watching.